would not have seen that stone there if um, we didn't wash it. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another Akiba Cows Moving video. Now, we're going to show you a clip of a hoof, and you guys need to drop your comments down below and let me know how you think she's going to walk out. And at the end of the video, we're going to see just how she leaves. So let's get into this trim and let's show you guys what we do to this cow. Let's go. It is wet and windy here and I need to get trimming. But in today's video, we're actually going to be showing you a cow with a solo sir. And I'm going to talk you guys through what we're looking for when cows have sole ulcers. What we're looking for with sole ulcers or a cow's gait when they're walking, how we pick up sole ulcers, what we're looking for is a slight imperfection in their mobility score. If there's that little imperfection on a mobility score, pick them up, we routine trim, trim out that bruise. If it gets that little bit further and it gets left, that is when it becomes a sole ulcer. So without further ado, smash that subscribe to watch more videos just like this and let's get in to today's trip let's go well we wouldn't have seen that stone we would not have seen that stone there if um, we didn't wash it how do you guys think this issue is caused drop a comment down below and let me know how you think this issue comes about and I will explain it as we get into this trim. So we've used the hoof spreader, which is a used glue tip, just to spread these claws open. And as you can see, one of the first things I've done is drop that heel height. Now, she is very clearly imbalanced. Whether you guys would have noticed it when we first started trimming, I'm not sure, but she is incredibly imbalanced. While I'm sharpening up my knife, Will is just gonna get to blocking this hoof and getting this girl to get a really good heel clearance. Now, clearly there's a sole ulcer in here. Now, how do cows get sole ulcers? It can come from two reasons. Reason one, standing time. If a cow's standing too long, more than likely they're going to get a sole ulcer. Or it can come from some sort of impact damage, but nine times out of 10. It's excess standing time with not enough routine trimming. Now, this girl, as I opened with the question, how do they get this issue? It was 100% from an imbalance. She had way too much heel height back here. She hadn't had a routine trim, and now she's got a sole ulcer. So what can we do to fix that? We are working into a 100 day trim on this farm and fingers crossed that will give us way less issues and way less soul losses not that we get many they're sitting at like five percent lameness but we could drop that lower with a couple extra trims yeah that left was bruised the final little fiddly bits of this trim where we gradually just have to delicately remove all these little issues and you can see she is not 100% comfortable with this now we have to remove it but when we get to a limit if she is struggling we stop we've both damaged our fingers before and we know firsthand if this is uncomfortable for these girls how uncomfortable it was for us so if she's in any form of discomfort that is when we stop Oh, 
Is he? Why? He was following his career. Christ. Yeah, he's still playing in the Premier League. Who's he playing for? Uh, for Details is from David, one million pound lawsuit. Christ. Now, these girls are going through regular foot bathing. There's a little bit of dermatitis on this issue. So we're just going to spray her with Intracare and send her on away. We won't be wrapping just because they go through foot baths so often on this farm. Just got to keep checking for temp. Well, that's looking better, isn't it? But yeah, how do you think she's going to walk out? I think could potentially struggle. We have got beautiful, beautiful clearance. So look at that. Right. Blue has lost its heat. So we can now drop it down. Right. Right, thank you guys for watching this video. I currently can't get out of my truck to wash off. Ooh, yeah, not getting out there. He's a big boy, but our merch is all live. If you want anything for Christmas, head over. There is some discount codes. There's all sorts. We have limited stocks of beanies and some of the hoodies. Use code KCM10 and that'll give you discount on bobble hats, discount on our original hoodies. We will also ship all over the world. We are trying to work on getting shipping cheaper. So if anyone is interested and they're not in the UK and you potentially want cheaper shipping, just drop me a DM or drop me an email and I will speak to one of my suppliers as I know they ship all over the world. If you pick anything up, make sure you tag us on Instagram. As always, let me know what you think of this video. Smash that subscribe button and then you will get notifications every week of our weekly videos. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on next week's video.